This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. We're live from Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and we're in the kitchen, which means it's time for our cooking segment. That's right, and it smells so good mm -hmm. in here. So we are joined once again by Jennifer Mayfield, who is a nutrition specialist with the University of Missouri Extension Office. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're kind of doing a little Valentine's Day dinner. You know, we always think Valentine's Day treats, mm -hmm. desserts, chocolate. Exactly. But what about before we actually get to the treats? Exactly. This is something that doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It, it looks fabulous, tastes fabulous, and this is something guys can do mm -hmm. to impress their ladies. On I, like I love the idea. All like right, it. so we have our chicken. Right, we have a chicken. We're just gonna be using a tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of kosher salt. We're gonna be using fresh rosemary, some butternut squash, um, just a tablespoon of butter, and then some olive oil. Okay. And then we also have potatoes. Mm -hmm. So. The, so the first thing you want to do is get your potatoes. You want to boil them for about 11 to 13 minutes. Just slice them about three-fourths inch thick like that. Can you see that? So yeah, we're going to get those go. going, and then we're going to prepare our chicken. And what, what you want to do, and most ladies probably know this, but just in case the guys don't, when you buy a whole chicken and you take it out of the, the package, out of the wrapping, inside is going to be... Um, a little plastic bag of, of inside stuff, and you just want to go ahead and remove that. I've okay. already done that, but go ahead and remove it, just in case guys don't know. So then you want to pat the chicken dry, okay. like this. You're going to get him nice and, and dry, because then you're going to want to take your softened one tablespoon of butter, and you just want to rub it all over the chicken like this. And this is a healthy butter. It doesn't look it, but it is. Okay. Uh, in fact, this, um, I can't believe it's not butter, has uh, more poly and monounsaturated fats, which is the good fats, okay. than even Smart Balance does. Mm. But this retains a wonderful flavor. I was gonna say the same thing, plus it's probably gonna get it crisp. Yes, that's yeah. the point of the cornstarch yes. okay. and the salt, is so you get it all over the chicken like all that. Right. Okay. And then what do we do? And then we're gonna take our rosemary and we want to, my hands are a little slippery now, so you just want to take some of the rosemary mm -hmm. and take it off the sprigs and we're going to just put them all over because we're going to set the chicken and potatoes on top. Mm, this smells so good. It does. It's oh. absolutely fantastic herb. So we'll just put it all over the pan. I'll let you take another sprig. Sure. And then we're going to take some of the leftover mm -hmm. rosemary and we're going to stuff it, in stuff it inside. Oh, okay. So that's actually more. going to give it a little bit more flavor. Exactly. And so then, once we have the butter all over, mm -hmm. we're going to take our cornstarch and our salt mixture, mm -hmm. and we're just going to sprinkle it on top like okay. this, because this is also going to help give it that nice, crisp um, texture on the outside, but you won't believe how wonderfully moist mm -hmm. on, the on the inside. Yes, because you're actually going to be baking this at 425 degrees. Okay. So that's a pretty high heat, but it's really important to help get this crust and, and it just makes it really, really nice and crisp and pretty. And what's our next step? Our next step is to tie the legs. And don't okay. worry guys if you can't get it perfectly because I uh, mm -hmm. have trouble sometimes getting my legs tied. It don't matter. <laughs> just get them tied now, together. what's the purpose of doing that? You know, it just, it just kind of helps hold it together and kind of helps keep the rosemary in. And okay. okay. So it's... Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and okay. then we go ahead and stick it in the stick pan. It. We're going to stick this in the pan. Okay, and then what do we do? Because we have about a minute left. We're going to drain the potatoes. Left. Okay. We're going to add the potatoes, and then we're going to add the butternut squash, and then it's ready to go in the oven. Now, it's real important. After 30 minutes of being in the oven, you want to pull it out okay. so you can flip the potatoes over okay. and then put it back in um, probably another 30 minutes. It's really important guys that you have a meat thermometer because okay. your chicken has to be, we're going to add the potatoes and you just sprinkle them around. Okay. As well as the squash, As right? well as the squash. Okay, do that really quickly. And then, yeah. I'm sorry, how long do we bake it in the oven for? 30 minutes and then you'll pull it out and you'll flip the potatoes over so okay. they can get um, done. And see how beautiful that squash just pops? Mm -hmm. yeah. It smells wonderful. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick that in the oven. And while we do 
And welcome back. If you're just joining us right now, we are live at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and we are making a roasted chicken that gentlemen can make for their loved ones on Valentine's Day. And it's really simple, so that's why we picked this recipe. Yes. So let's yes. go ahead and recap what we did before we show off the uh, okay. final product. We sliced the potatoes about three-fourths inch thick, boiled them for about 11 to 13 minutes. Um, and while that was doing, we took the chicken and we put the melted butter on it and we put the cornstarch and salt mixture, stuffed it with the rosemary, put the rosemary in the pan, we added the chicken, then we added the potatoes and we added the butternut squash. I did forget, with your potatoes, before you put it in the oven, just drizzle with some olive oil. Okay. okay. Um, and then it goes in the oven at 425 degrees for 30 minutes, pull it out, flip the potatoes over, that will also have some rosemary on there and that will get the other side kind of crisp as well. All right. And then it goes in for about another 30 minutes. It's important, guys, to remember to have a meat thermometer. Chicken absolutely has to reach 165 degrees. And if you don't know where to uh, put it in the chicken, put it about here between the, the leg and the, the breast. And once it reaches 165, then you know that it is thoroughly yeah. cooked. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we don't want to get sick on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. All right. No. Well, thank you so much for showing us this easy recipe. Yes. We'll post all the information in the video on our website later today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Your news will continue tonight with KTVO News at 5, but you can check us out anytime at heartlandconnection.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 6 a.m.